Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to bring you guys another squad builder, and this is actually going to be the best 100k team on FIFA 17, in my opinion. Now, for those of you who don't know how this series works, I build five different teams for a specific budget. I then go and play a few games with each team, and the best team I make a video on. Now, this team right here is very, very good. I've currently been using it in divisions. I've won five out of five games. I'm unbeaten with the team, and it is very, very good. And actually, one of the best teams I've used so far on FIFA 17 is definitely a weekend league standard team. You guys could easily use this team in foot champions and do very very well with it and overall it's just got some very very good players in it's got some very overpowered and popular players on ultimate team it's got a very well balanced midfield a five star skiller in it as well a uh, very pacey wingers you've got skills dribbling technical ability all across the front three as well and the defense is very very solid so it's a very very good team that i would definitely recommend you guys picking up if you do have the coins and if you are on playstation it is actually going to cost you slightly more so i will have some cheap alternatives for you guys at the end of the video just so if you are on playstation you can still afford the team and still hopefully do very, very well with it. Starting off in the goalkeeper position in this 4-3-2-1 formation, we have got Pepe Reina, a very, very solid keeper. He will make a lot of great saves for your team. And you can actually use any Serie A keeper of your choice. Just go with your favourite, really. Pepe Reina is definitely my favourite Serie A keeper, though, on FIFA 17. And moving into the defence, in the left-back position, we're going to be going with Danny Rose. You can use his upgraded version if you just want to slightly upgrade the team. He is a few thousand coins more expensive. But very, very good card. He's got good pace, good defending, and good physical as well. And and then next to him, we've got a very, very solid centre-back partnership. It's a hype link between Bonucci and Barzagli. Bonucci, very, very good card. Tall, strong, good defensively, good pace, and very, very good on the ball as well. Really good passing, uh, so he can play some balls over the top to your strike force. And next in, we've got Barzagli, a very, very similar player. He's quick, he's got very, very good strength, good defending as well, and a tall with good work rates too. Definitely a very, very solid centre-back partnership. You're not going to be letting in many goals with them. And to complete the defence, in the right-back position, we've got Shmonikov. Very, very good, well-rounded card for a right-back. Never really see anyone using him, but he does have some very, very good stats. Now, moving into the midfield, we've got such a good midfield in this team. It really was kind of the key part of the team, I think. And we start off with Dembele in the left sentiment position. He's got such a good card. He got three goals in five games, which is a very, very good return. Very good well-rounded stats. Very strong and four star skill moves as well. In the middle of the pitch, as the defensive midfielder in the team, are set to stay by us attacking, which is very, very important as he is the defensive minor player. We've gone with Fernandinho. Very good well-rounded card right there. Very, very cheap player as well. And to complete the midfield, we've got team of the group stage. Juliano, very, very good card. Look at his stats. 85 shooting, good pace, good dribbling, good passing as well, and five star skill moves and scored such a nice goal for my team as well. You will see that in just a minute. Two goals and two assists are not too bad. And moving into the strike force, we have got Anthony Martial in the left forward position. He is an absolutely amazing player on FIFA 17. If you guys haven't used him, you really are missing out. Very, very OP player. I believe he got five goals and three assists in five games, which is not too bad at all. In the right forward position, we have got my favourite player in the entire team, and that was Lucas. As you see by his record, I played quite a few games with him, and he actually got so many goals. I think he actually got four or five goals in the five games, and he got a lot of assists as well. Very, very key player for my team. And then, to complete the team, we have got one of my favourite and one of the most overpowered strikers on FIFA 17, and that is Alexandra Lacazette. He's got an amazing card, 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 82 shooting as well. Good passing, good physical, four star skills, and he got five goals and four assists in five games, which is not too bad at all. Very, very good return from a very, very good player. Now, as I said earlier on, this team is slightly more expensive on PlayStation. If you are on PS4, then sw simply swap out Team of the Group Stage Juliano for his normal card, which is a lot cheaper. Or you can do a similar kind of thing to what I've done here. You can mix up, go with a different centre-back partnership. For example, I've gone with Jimenez and uh, Godin. You can also swap it up, maybe use Allen and Heisage, or just any Brazilian midfielder of your choice in the right centre mid position. And if you want a slightly more attacking team, you can swap out Fernandinho for someone like Coutinho or Firmino. You've got quite a few different alternatives you can mix up, but that's the team that I went with, and it was a very, very good one. Moving into the clips, and you guys are going to see just how good this team is on FIFA 17, and I really would recommend it. For a 100,000 coin budget, you're not really going to get a better team than this, and I have already done two videos on the best 100k team on FIFA 17. However, those teams now are a lot cheaper. I did both of those before team of the year and before prices dropped a lot. And this team here, it's a lot better than both of those. It is such a good team and I was just dominating every single opponent. And you guys are going to see some of the goals I'm scoring in the background. They're very, very high quality. I'm scoring some great goals with players who only cost a couple of thousand coins. And I think the main players in this team who just made it so good were the two wingers, Martial and
Lucas. They're so quick. They've got really good dribbling, and they're just so good on the counter. Once you get the ball to them, they're going to beat so many players very, very easily. But look at that for a goal from Team of the Group, say Giuliano. That's what you get for, I think it costs around 40,000 coins. That's what you're spending the coins on. The technical ability when it comes to finishing, dribbling, passing, he's very, very good at all of those things there. His volleys are very good. I would definitely recommend if you do get the ball coming near him, maybe uh, if you play a long ball across him, and it is bouncing down and you're wondering whether to go for that volley or not, definitely try it out because his volleys, his long shots are very, very good. I mean, look at that. Great Blasi flick. And no keeper is saving that. But this game you're seeing in the background was actually a really good game. It went to 3 all. I then ended up just being gifted a goal right here. He just passed the ball straight out to Lacazette. You don't want to do that because Lacazette, his finishing is so, so good. He puts that easily into the back of the net. But then he actually pulled a goal back. 4 all. And with the last kick of the game, really, Barzagli plays it into Juliano. Lucas then plays it through to Lacazette. And no one is beating Lacazette. That is Eric Bailly, a very, very strong, very quick player. And very, very popular on Ultimate Team. But look at that. He actually got injured as he tried to stop Lacazette. He just turned in with a Berber spin and to put a nice finish away. And that game ended at 5-4. And I think that was the last kick of the game to actually win it. But this team here, it was just so much fun to use. I mean, I've been using a lot of teams recently, and very, very few of them actually compared to this one. It was so, so good, and I've been using teams that were a lot more expensive than this, and I think this is one of the best teams I've actually used on all of FIFA 17. It was so, so good, and everything about the team was great. The midfield was absolutely perfect. You've got Fernandinho as the defensive mining midfielder, who's just going to clear everything up at the back, and he can uh, be pretty good going forward as well. He's got decent finishing, especially from distance. You've got Juliano as that real creative player, as he gets another goal that you guys can see just there in the background. He's got five-star skills. His passing is very good, and you guys can see, again, there, really nice through ball. Uh, to put Lacazette through on goal. And then you've got Dembele as that box-to-box -box player. He actually got three goals in five games, which is not bad at all for a centre mid. He's got four-star skills. He's strong. He's really good defensively. And then going forward as well, he is very, very good. And I think the main players, as I said earlier on, were Lucas and Martial. And once you get the ball to them, you can just beat players so easily. I mean, look at that. For the burst of pace from Lucas, I think he did a roulette past one defender, played a quick one too, and no one's catching up with him. It's the same with Lacazette. Once he gets through on goal, he's so hard to stop. He's got pretty good strength. And he's very, very quick as well. Lacazette, his finishing is great. And he got a lot of assists as well. You guys can see here, he gets through on goal. And Lucas, again, he gets through. Lucas got so many goals for the team. And for a very, very cheap player, Lucas will only cost you like two or 3,000 coins. He was actually very, very good. And then the defense in the team was also very solid. The majority of those games that you are seeing in the background, other than the one that I ended up winning 5-4, which was against a pretty good opponent, I was keeping clean sheets, I wasn't really conceding many goals at all, and it was very, very good. Bonucci and Barzagli, great centre-back partnership. You can upgrade to Chiellini if you want. If there was one that I would upgrade, it would probably be Barzagli, just because he's slightly worse on the ball compared to Bonucci. Bonucci's passing, especially his long passing, is very, very good. Uh, but both of them, very, very solid players. Smornikov, he's a real kind of hidden gem. I never see anyone using Smornikov, but he's got great stats going forwards and defensively. He's a very, very quick player uh, as well. And then also on the left, we've got Danny Rose. Now, loads of people seem to use Luke Shaw in Premier League teams. I never really use him. I always use Danny Rose. He's a great player and I definitely recommend him. But uh, yeah, that was the finished team. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I would definitely recommend you trying this team out. Um, so yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new around here and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.